हेलो एंड वेलकम ऑल द लवली किड्स ऑफ कलरिया ऑन द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ श्रीमती आर एस कलरिया यूट्यूब टुडे आई एम प्रियंका चुड़ास्मा विल बी एनलाइटिंग यू पीपल विद द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ द साइंस एन सी आर टी एट स्टैंडर्ड दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर सिक्सटीन नेम्ड एज लाइट सो वेन द लाइट इज हियर वॉट डू यू मीन बाई दैट ये we can see the things because of the light so when the comes that the term senses the world is completely filled with the senses because if we possess all the senses we can see everything now the most important is the sight that is from the eyes so when we possess the eyes we can see everything but if we see that the light is not falling on any of the substance can we see that substance not of course so let's have a quick view on what the chapter is going to tell us so first thing that we have seen here is the senses yes the first sense that is the sight so because of this only we are seeing this wonderful world around us the second thing that is what makes things visible now the things which will be making us to visible is the light which will be falling on the substance and that substance will be reflecting the same light towards us so this will be telling that the light is very important in our life to see the things properly so now here we come with the next topic that is laws of the reflection now what are these laws of the reflection also so anything that will be having the light falling on it it will be going to reflect the light but some of the things will not be reflecting the light because they will be absorbing it but the other color will be reflected by the same substance now let us see some small experiment by which you can just explain yourself that how the light will be reflected so let's have a quick view on that here we have a white chart paper a plain mirror and a light which will be passing a beam of rays so let's start with the experiment which is of activity 16.1 we have to just throw the light rays on the plain mirror and which will be reflected on the chart paper to show that they exist on the same plane so let's start so here we have the light ray falling on the mirror which is the incident ray this one is the incident ray which is falling on the plane mirror then it is reflected on the chart paper as we can see here so this one is the reflected ray which is coming from the mirror and if we draw the imaginary normal line from the mirror perpendicular to it we can find that both the angles are at equal distance so both the angles are equal so this is experiment or activity to show that the reflection of the ray on the plane mirror now let's see what and how we can have the incident ray reflected ray and the normal on the screen so first of all we are going to make the mirror image now what mirror what it will be having so we are making a straight line this will be working or indicating the mirror okay now let's make the another straight line imaginary line that will be in the mirror but it is not real one so it is an imaginary line so we are making the imaginary line over here this will be acting as a normal so this is the normal we can say so here it is an imaginary line that is named as the normal now we can have the another type of the ray which will be indicating the incident ray and the reflected ray so here we have suppose we are making the incident ray coming from 40 degree angle then it will be again reflected at 40 degree angle so this will be having the ray which is coming to the center or the normal is the incident ray and the ray which is going to reflect from the mirror is the reflected ray 
so here we come to know that the ray which is going to fall on the mirror will be named as incident ray and the ray which is going to reflect from the mirror will be known as reflected ray and they all are going to make the same angle of the incident ray from the normal and the reflected ray from the normal so here we have marked it as 40 degree so here we can say that the reflected ray will also be making the angle of 40 degree so this will be known as incident angle angle of incidence and the second one will be angle of reflection that is angle r now when we are knowing that what is incident ray let us have a focus on the image so here we have a incident ray means a ray which is coming from the source of the light and striking to the mirror at the same angle it will be again reflected from the mirror so we can say that the line or the light which is coming from the source to the mirror falling on the mirror is termed as the incident ray and the other ray which is going to reflect from the mirror is termed as the reflected ray now here the again two important terms are coming in our mind that is the incident ray and the reflected ray will be making a angle now how can they make the angle now so we have the imaginary line that is known as the normal now this normal is not present over there in the mirror but it is just an imaginary line that we have to construct in our mind now what will be the angle over here the angle from which the incident light is falling on the mirror from there we have a normal which is at the 90 degree angle from the mirror's angle so when we are making the incident ray from the normal if it is an example i am taken if it is a 40 degree the reflected ray will also be at the 40 degree angle from the normal so we can say that the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection now this will be the first law of the reflection so here we have the laws of the reflection telling that angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection now we have studied about the light so we now have the different different aspects also that suppose we have the angle which is coming at the incident ray which is coming at the angle of 20 degree then what will be the angle of the reflection of course yes it is going to be the angle of 20 degree only so we can say that whatever the angle is made by the incident ray to the normal the similar will be reflect will be having in the reflected ray also so this will will be the first law of the reflection that we have studied now here bujo is having something to tell you what it is what would happen if i throw the light on the mirror along the normal now the interesting question is here so what we can say if the angle of incidence is falling similar or along with the normal only then where will the reflected light go yes can you answer it yes the answer will be it will be reflected back to the normal so we can say that when the incident ray is falling straight or parallel to the normal we can say that it will be making zero degree angle because it is going to reflect at the same angle again from the mirror so it is an interesting question and answer also isn't it now here we have the another activity also in this activity we will be having the light to be fallen on the mirror and then same will be happening to reflect the same from the same mirror but we will be making it in a plane now what is a plane as we have drawn here the incident ray the normal the reflected ray and the mirror in one of the surface this surface will be known as one plane so whenever any of the light is falling on the mirror and that is reflected back it will be making one plane because it is in a single layer so that will be termed as the one plane now in this experiment you will come to know very clearly what a plane means here we have taken a comb a plane chart paper a plane mirror and we have the source of the light so let us keep this 
comb in between the torch and the plane mirror and let us see what will be reflection over here from the plane mirror so here we have a ray of light being going from the source of the light and touching the mirror and then it is reflected on the chart paper as you can see okay so now so let us see that what will be happening when the chart paper is getting the reflection from the source of the light and reflection from the mirror so here we can see that the reflection is falling on the chart paper so now what we have to do is we have to just cut the chart paper and find out what will be happening to the reflected rays now you can see here that everything is present on one single plane incident ray reflected ray mirror and the chart paper so all these things are visible over here on a single plane so it is known as a one plane but if we'll cut this one and we will fold this chart paper let us see what will happen to it so we are going to cut this chart paper and we are going to fold it a little bit and now we are going to throw the light through the laser and now can you see the same reflection further on the chart paper you can say no because it breaks in between as we have folded the chart paper you cannot see the straight line going through the chart paper you can see just the half line so this will be indicating that when we are having normal reflected rays and the incident ray on the same plane it will be reflecting properly otherwise it could not reflect as you can see from where we have folded the paper up till that only the reflected ray is visible after that it is not reflected so by this activity we can say that everything if it is present in only one single plane it will be visible otherwise it will not be visible now when we have the queries about the incident ray reflected ray and the normal let's have a look at the plane mirrors image that you have already studied in standard 7 so we say that the paheli and bujo has experimented something that they have stood in front of the mirror and they found out that how the image is formed in front of the plane mirror so here are some of the queries that comes from their side the first question that paheli asked is was the image erect or upside down so what is your answer yes of course it is erect one the second question that comes here is was it of the same size of the object so what do you say yes of course it is of the same size then the next question is did the image appear at the same distance behind the mirror as the object was in front of it so what do you say about that yes of course it is the same one so there will be no more distance difference between them also when the image is formed of the object so the last question that could it be obtained on the screen so what do you say of course yes if we can see on the screen then and then only we can find our image on the mirror itself isn't it now why this we have seen we say that we know about the thing that is incident ray the normal and the reflected ray and the mirror placed over here are coming on the same surface that is on the same plane or the same layer so this is the another law of the reflection that we have studied here that the reflected ray incident ray normal and the mirror means all these will be coming on the same plane then it is known as the second law of the reflection so here we come through the two laws of the reflection the first one that is always the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection and the second thing that is the ray of incident the reflected ray and the normal they are coming always on the same plane so these are the two laws of reflection that we have studied here okay 
Now the thing that comes to our mind that always the light is having only single line. No, it is not. We can say that the narrow beam of the light will be having the several rays inside it. So whenever we are having any of the small light also coming, it will be possessing lot and lot of rays in it. So we cannot say that it is a single ray. It will be a beam of the light rays which will be making the light, isn't it? So next one we have is the activity that will be telling that what are the next next aspects about the light so whenever the light is falling on the mirror it is going to reflect to the eyes of the person and if the light will be falling on the eyes of the person then and then only that person will be able to see the object from which the light is falling okay so let's have a look at this experiment Here we have the activity which will be telling us that what will be happening to the source of light when it is falling on the mirror. So let us see the activity over here as I have drawn the picture over here. It says that the source of the light O that is here. It will be placed in front of the plane mirror that one is this that is named as the P and Q. So here we can name this as P and Q. Now, two rays that is OA and OC. Now, here we have first one that is coming from the rays that is OA and OC. These are the incident rays. So, they are coming from the source of the light and falling on the mirror. Now, two rays OA and OC are incident on it. Can you find out the direction of the reflected rays? So, we have already studied that these angles which are made from the here as the incident ray will be again making the same angle towards the reflected rays. So, we can say that they will be reflected at the similar angles from here. So, draw the normals to the surface of the mirror P and Q. So, we can draw the normals which is again parallel, we can say perpendicular to the mirror. So, here for drawing the normal, so from here we can draw the normal of OA and, and OC by just making a particular 90 degree angle that is perpendicular line from the mirror. So here we say that they are the normals being prepared for OA and OC incident rays. Now what we have to do further? Draw the normals as we have drawn it over here. At point A and C we have drawn them. Then draw the reflected rays at the points A and C. So how would you draw these rays? So we know that when the reflected rays are coming out we find out the reflected ray and their angles. So, we can say here the angle which is made from the normal of the incident ray should be similar to the reflected ray. So, here we have the measurement of the incident ray as 50 degree. So, first one we have here as 50 degree. So, the reflected ray should also be at the 50 degree angle. So, again we have made it at the 50 degree angle only. Now, when we go for the next line that is OC. So, what we can say over here? When we are over here, we say that the angle of OC is nearby 45 degree angle. So, we say here it is 45 degree angle which is from the normal. So, the reflected ray should also be prepared in the similar way. So, from here we can say that 45 degree angle we have the ray of reflection or reflected ray we can say. Here it is also 45 and here also it is 45. So, here we can say that the ray of reflection which will be at the 45 degree angle. So, we can say that angle of incidence and angle of reflection they are similar and always equal. So, in the first one also it was 50 degree that we have made and 
over here this is the 50 degree angle and this will be again the 50 degree angle and over here also we have made of the 45 degree and 45 degree so it will be telling both the things very clearly now we can say that extend them further so which rays we have to extend the reflected rays we have to extend below so behind the mirror what it will be telling us okay so that we have shown here do they meet now so yes when we have just drawn the line with the help of the scale they are going to meet at one of the point so what will happen over there if they meet mark this point as i so let us mark this point as i over there which is behind the mirror not in front of the mirror now uh, for the viewer's eyes at e so this is the viewer's eye which will be known as e okay now do the reflected rays appear to come from the point i so what do you say the reflected rays are coming from the point i can you say like that yes because it is coming in the straight way from there but if there is no mirror we can say yes they are coming from here but we know that behind the mirror they could not form any of the image so we can say that these will be possible if the source of the light, light is over here placed here but there is no mirror between it but here we have the mirror so the light is reflected from the same plane of the mirror so we can say that since the reflected rays do not actually meet at i do not appear to do so we said that the virtual image of the point o is formed at i so we can say that the virtual image of the source of the light o is formed over here as i said if the mirror was not here we can say that yes the light is coming from the eye point but we have the mirror in between so we cannot say that the source of the light is at i okay so as the book says we have said the same one as you have learned already in class 7 that such an image cannot be obtained on the screen so these type of the things could not be obtained on the screen because it is behind the screen we cannot obtain these type of the sources of the light to be seen on the screen like this way okay so from this we can say that we have uh, the images which are formed from the plane mirror will be left objects appears to the right and the right will be object will be seen to be in the left size how do we say that so let's have an experiment for that and this will be known as a lateral inversion now the image which is formed in the plane mirror will be known as a lateral inversion so let's have a look at that so here you can see that lot of images are being visible to you people now what is the reason when i am looking in one of the mirror at my back there is another mirror which is going to reflect the reflections of the another mirror so because of that we can see innumerable images over there because of two plane mirrors placed in front of each other so here you can see that very lovely many and many pictures of your own so this is how the plane mirror will be showing lot of images isn't it enjoyable so this activity tells that a reflected ray will be incident on the other plane mirror and will be again giving the image and will be reflected to the another mirror also so this is how we can say that there are so many of the images formed because of two plane mirrors placed in front of each other so see how fine it looks you can see even my back also and even my front portion also when they are placed parallel to each other or in front of each other so children this is an interesting activity which is in our textbook at 16.5 now what you have to do you have to take two plane mirrors and one of the coin instead of coin i have taken the striker which is again an interesting character over here so what you will see you will be seeing four images over here of the same character one is the character that is the coin striker and three of the images so what we have to do now we have to change the angle of the mirror and we will find a beautiful view so let's have a good view from here 
as I am making it close, you can see the number of the images has also increased. Let us do it more. So, what has happened? Again, they have increased. Let us little bit make a move over here. What will be happening? See how beautiful and you can find so many of the images. Isn't it so beautiful? Let's make another view. See how they are just separated from each other. Isn't it? So this is a nice view that you can also play at your home and have the interesting thing over here of the reflection. So, see children, this is again a nice view that you can have. What is seen in your screen? Yes, we can see that the beautiful lots of and lots of images are being formed. You can see that how infinitely you can go deep inside this image. Now, what is this? This is again in activity 16.5. What we have done over here? See, I have placed here two plane mirrors in front of each other, okay. So, when they are placed in front of each other, we can have lots of and lots of images being formed here. And for that, they have placed a candle, lighted candle in between. But instead of that, I have kept here one of the doll that you can see and the striker over here. So, all these things are visible to you people, isn't it? So, it seems to be very nice and innovative for you people. So, find out how many images of the candle placed between them are formed. So, we can say here that how many images you can find of the doll which is placed over here or you can say the mobile which is screening on your screen. So, that is again innumerable. See, infinitely you can see so many of the images of the same mobile screen also and also of the doll's image and the pen's cap also you can see it properly, isn't it? So, this is what the experiment or the activity 16.5 says.